Hello and welcome back to a new video about my adventure in the game. In this series I want to show you what it's like to make a game as a solo developer. In this video I want to show you how I finally leave my test world behind and create the real world for my game. Let's go! The story of my game, which I have already written a bit by the way, starts at the beach. I will only explain the story to you piece by piece so that it makes sense for the devlogs, but I don't want to spoil you if you want to play the game for yourself one time. The game is set on an island, accordingly it is surrounded by water all around and I personally love the vibe of games set on an island and besides that, it's much easier for me as a developer to set the world boundaries. In fact, not at all, the surrounding water does that for me automatically. Except for the water as world boundaries, the player should get a chance to explore the world by himself, so there will only be a few obstacles blocking the way somewhere. However, if you have no idea where you should go, you can simply follow the path that takes the player by the hand. The goal is that the paths should lead the player in important directions. I always want to put forests or rock formations between paths so that the world feels a little bit fuller. Maybe later on there will be animals in the forest to make the world game feel... yeah, more alive, but one thing at a time. The map won't be huge either. Actually, I think it's already too big. I'm thinking of making the island even smaller afterwards, so I don't overestimate myself and the game will be finished before the end of my life. To make the beach feeling perfect, I created palm trees and colorful starfish and placed them there. You can cut down the palm trees and collect the starfish and driftwood lying around, so actually if you feel like it, you can empty the whole beach. I'm thinking of adding a jetty with a fishing NPC sitting on it, but I think when it comes to populating the map, including villages and so on, there will be some changes to the map. You can also see how I create a small ruin here. Will it be important later? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> the rest of the world I added small hills, rocks, trees, colorful flowers and mountain formations to make the world look a bit chaotic rather than simply linear. In the background you can see a big mountain. Here I want to add a waterfall, which might be the center of the game. But <laughs> you surely remember my last waterfall. Yes, it was terrible. That's why I want to experiment a little bit in secret until I show you my new waterfall. In general, the map is still very rough. It still lacks of various objects, houses, animals, NPC, environment objects and so on. Yeah, but I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. I mean, if you compare this world with the test world right now, you realize that with the modular system I've built, I can already realize quite a few gameplay elements. Next time I will show you how I stylized my game to this point right now and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you don't want to miss anything in the future please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.